words of Jorge Luis Borges. And you learn to build all your roads on today because tomorrow's ground is too uncertain for plans. You know, build all your roads on today could have been the mantra of Janice Burley Wilson when she took over as the head of the August Wilson African American Cultural Center, a gleaming building in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh, named for the Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and hometown hero. In 2017, when Janice became executive director, the August Wilson Center was nine years old and climbing out of bankruptcy. She had one employee. And on the day they walked into the office for the first time, they found it completely empty. As she said, there was no computer, no printer, no phones, no pens or pencils or supplies of any kind. But her bigger challenge was the spoken and unspoken skepticism, as she said, that surrounded their culturally specific institution. She told me there was a lot of attention paid to the fact that they were an African-American run organization, a lot of eyes on us, as she said, and she realized that they had to do everything better than everyone else. Now, she had big plans for the August Wilson Center, but she also knew that this was not the moment to proclaim that they were gonna run forward. Not yet, not with one employee and no phones. She had to work with what she had. She had to start by building all her roads on today. And so in that first year, she just added a few staff and produced a few key artistic events, including the Pittsburgh International Jazz Festival. And they found that by producing just a small number of events of the highest possible quality, that they began to attract and excite audiences and artists and funders. And now another leader in this moment would have hit the gas, would have added a bunch more staff, would have added a bunch more programs, but Janice did not. As she said to a reporter at the time, we are growing slowly, taking careful and calculated steps. Now, with her disciplined approach, Janice was modeling a concept from one of my favorite professors, Jim Collins. In his book, Great by Choice, written with Morton Hansen, they profile companies that thrive in turbulent times, including a concept that they call the 20-mile march. So imagine a long-distance hiker who endeavors to march, or hike, should I say, exactly 20 miles every single day, rain or shine. On the hard days, they really have to muscle through to get all the way to 20. And on the easy days, they stop at 20, even if they could have gone on for several more hours. According to these professors, companies that thrive in turbulent times often act just like this hiker, having, they say, the ambition to achieve and the self-control to hold back, valuing consistent progress over huge peaks and valleys, just like Janice and the August Wilson Center. And at the end of her first year, they had welcomed 75,000 visitors and they recorded a small surplus. At the end of the second year, they had welcomed 119,000 visitors and recorded another small surplus. And by year three, the wind was really at their back, as evidenced by this headline in the Pittsburgh Tribune, which proclaimed them on track for comeback. This article was posted on February 16th, 2020. But wait, but remember, 20-mile march companies don't overreach in the hard times so that they can muscle through in the difficult ones, and the August Wilson Center was no different. Even though they suffered major losses from canceled performances, they continued to forge ahead. They continued to connect with their audiences digitally. They continued to, to have small surpluses. And last year, the International Jazz Festival returned in person, and just a few months ago, they opened their new flagship exhibit, August Wilson, The Writer's Landscape, the first ever exhibit devoted exclusively to the life and work of their namesake. It's a timed admission show. It has been sold out since it opened. And today, the August Wilson African American Cultural Center is one of the largest cultural organizations devoted exclusively to the African American experience. Their team has grown from one to 20. Their budget has increased fourfold. They have recorded a surplus every year since Janice took over, and they have done it by building all their roads on today. And Janice may have been careful and calculated 
But when she took over, she told the board her vision was to bring the August Wilson Center to a global stage, and that is exactly what they've done. And to me, that is the lesson. Have an extraordinary vision and build all your roads on today.